As a lab in an exhibition, uh, we wanted to create a space that's focusing on process rather than the finished product. Um, and that also relates to Fong's work around futures literacy and trying to uh, get futures out of the field of experts uh, and it to be available for anyone who thinks about their future, which is anyone really. <laughs> um, and in order to do that, we are looking at what, how do people working with futures at the moment um, create visions and fictions and whatever it is that they are producing. Um, so instead of us producing a product, we look at the process that's behind it. So the techniques and methods and the tools. Um, and then in this lab, uh, we try to make that available for people who are coming to the exhibition um, through words and images, and, uh, as well as a series of workshops and events that we are going to be hosting in the lab. We called it a lab because we want to see it as a, as a space for experiments, for trying things out, um, so that um, it's open enough for anyone who wants to participate uh, to also be able to be involved. FOM always say that we are a, a transdisciplinary lab for speculative cultures, so obviously this is, um, this is kind of a mini FOM that we are creating here uh, for three months. Um, and what we mean by speculative cultures, uh, it's a term that's coined by Bruce Sterling, uh, to uh, describe situations where people from different disciplines and backgrounds come together without a specific goal and something emerges. So what FORM does is facilitate and frame these situations in which people can create a more holistic culture that's mixing different disciplines. Mm -hmm. Aside from that, we are a part of a European project called Future Fabulators, where we are looking at uh, combining storytelling and futures. Um, we talked to many futurists who said it's interesting that storytelling hasn't been more a part of, uh, of our practice, considering that we, we are basically creating stories about the future. Uh, and another thing that we're trying to do in Future Fabulators is um, bridging the gap between the big futures, where we are going to the moon and having space elevators and all these huge things, and the mundane or everyday futures. So if you ask someone, what are you going to be doing in 10 years, they will tell you, I will have a job, I will go to the university, things like that. It's rarely, so there, there is quite a discrepancy between the big future and the, the individual everyday future. And what we are trying to do is, is find a way for them to meet. So we are using this lab also as our kind of lounge uh, where we want to have conversations with futurists and designers and people who, ha who have futures as their practice um, to basically interview them about how they come up with future visions. Uh, and we're doing that in order to create a little field guide, like a manual for people who would like to try out creating future visions um, but don't really know what the tools are. Uh, so it's a, a booklet for a non-expert audience um, as an introduction to the field, the weird field of futures. Well, when we started researching, deep, more deeply researching the field we, field, we realized it's not one field but very many fields. It's quite a fragmented and murky area. Um, that really requires a bit of understanding to navigate through it. Um, so I would say that in some way we are on its periphery because yeah, we, are, we come from arts and culture with an interest in future, so we are kind of borrowing from the center of the fields. I mean, we've been researching military tech techniques and uh, politics and business techniques, which are really at the core of the contemporary futures, uh, but that at the same time we are interested in how have futures been worked with in the, in, in the much further past with the whole divination and fortune telling and, and how, has, how has that transformed into what is today called futures. And at the same time a lot of our friends and colleagues are 
on, this, on the other periphery of futures, which is design fiction and experiential futures, uh, that connects very much to our wish to make things tangible and experienceable. Well, I can just reflect what I heard from futurists telling us what our role, uh, well, how they see our role as being relevant. And that's primarily as sort of reframing the questions, cracking open the, uh, the, the, the field for non-experts, um, and translating it into experiences, into stories, into things that are not 500-page reports that people outside of the field wouldn't read.